Welcome to Apathetic Weekend Update. I'm your host, guy who finally got his stupid dopey haircut. Our top story tonight, Ebola is now an STD. The first case of sexual transmission was documented this week after it was discovered a Liberian woman had contracted the disease through unprotected sex, leaving many with the terrifying reality. If people with Ebola are getting laid, what the f*** am I doing wrong? Moving on, Alaska showed support for Trump's illegal immigrant exclusion policies by renaming Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day. See what I did there? Good, uh, perfectly good joke by saying, see what I did there. Ooh, is that a raspberry seed? Oh, no, my gums are just bleeding. On Tuesday, creators of the iconic Glue It Yourself magazine, Playboy, announced that due to the plethora of free porn on the internet, they would no longer be publishing nude photos of women, and instead focusing on their articles. You know, those things that aren't all over the internet. In diabetic ear news, General Mills announced this week it would be releasing marshmallow-only boxes of Lucky Charms, after only 51 years of requests, leaving us all with questions like, uh, so does that mean that there's gonna be boxes with no marshmallows too? Or is it just gonna be like a, like a charm inflation? Cause, uh, I don't know, it just it doesn't really mean as much when all the numbers on the roulette wheel are the same color, you know? It's like being Star Wars, opening up against a chipmunk movie this Christmas. More red than green this year, you poor bastard. Have I done chips before? I can't remember if I've done chips before. Moving right along, on Friday, Fox News' terror expert Wayne Simmons was arrested for lying about a 27-year career in the CIA. Crazy stuff. Uh, better than finding out someone you worked with was in the CIA for 27 years and didn't tell you, though. Like, what the fuck, Bill? I thought we were close friends because we're both Rangers fans. Not because you saw me in a Che Guevara t-shirt once. Should have known you'd both let me down. Base is loaded. Here comes the pitch. Batista backflip. Moving on, the state of Illinois announced that it would not be paying out over $288 million in lottery winnings until its budget crisis was resolved. In related news, we know where all the marshmallowless boxes of Lucky Charms went. Big news out of the Apathetic Weekend Update studios. According to the analytics, we are on track to make our first dollar in ad revenue this weekend. So, joining us to discuss what that money should be put towards, my chill friend Kumi. Kumi? Blessed to be here, man. So what do you think I should put that dollar towards? You're gonna wanna spend it on girls, man. There's nothing like a really cool chick and a bad bitch. Okay, and uh, how would I do that? Ankle bracelets, man. Bitches love dangly shit where it doesn't belong. You get a tiny chain bouncing off her Achilles, soon that'll be all that she's wearing. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, cool, cool idea. Uh, oh, yeah. and coconut oil. That shit should be sold with knee pads, man. All right, that's, uh, feel like you were going somewhere graphic with that, so I'll stop you right there. For more discussion, we turn now to Simon, my other friend who also definitely smokes weed. Simon? Hey, buddy. Great to be here. Great to have you here. So what do you think of Kumi's suggestion for the dollar? Um, I would have to say it's lame. Unless you're into girls that fuck like a deflated balloon or a crippled spider. Uh, okay, interesting. Uh, so what do you think I should spend it on? Something awesome, obviously. You want interesting shit. Mustache scarves. Half a smoked Belmont cigarette. Nintendo stuff Nintendos. Everything else will come. Probably. Aha. Uh, I, I gotta be honest with you. I didn't really understand. It's a simple that. equation. Be weird. Get that strange. Play Sandstorm by Giroud. That's it. That's all I gotta do. Kinda starting to feel like crowdsourcing this was a mistake. I gotta cut you off real quick, Simon. 
Okay, uh, so Kumi, what do you think of Simon's suggestion? Sounds like he has no idea what he's talking about. I have no idea what I'm talking about? Maybe if you stop fantasizing about sucking a Zelda dick, you could come up with something interesting. Okay, uh, you guys really don't have to... How about you settle on an accent? Where are you even from, Rastastan? Why don't you go and make some beeps and boops, man? Why don't you go pen something flowery about a dick? Wait, what are we doing? All the work, apparently. That hack should give us the dollar. What's he gonna do with it? Afford another two suits? Okay, well that's just... Hey, hey, what episode is this, man? 14? And how many subscribers do you have? I have nieces that are doing a better job than you. Come on. I got more creativity in my dick than your whole show. You know what? I changed my mind. How about you take that dollar and get a proper haircut? Kumi and Simon, everybody. In other news, this week it was reported that the world's top 1% are now in control of more than 50% of the planet's wealth. Which, if generic 90s comeback movies have taught me anything, means the 99% have a big contest coming up they have to win so Earth doesn't get shut down. Fingers crossed it involves paying off credit card interest with other credit cards. This week, The Land Before Time was quietly released in HD. After worries, this generation might not be experiencing enough crippling loss. That's been six years since up. Which, uh, thank God I watched that alone. Ah, God damn it, Simon. Some really monumental news out of Toronto this week. After comedians Dennis Wilson and Meg McKay launched the first episode of their new series, Apathe none of this matters news, a completely original take on the popular SNL Weekend Update segment, featuring anchors that don't really care about the things they're reporting on. Welcome to None of This Matters News. The Pimp Edition includes every conceivable phrase you could think of, except for please let me go. More like Hosetta Stone. <laughs> the first sign of trouble was when children were asked if they wanted to leave Flint, Michigan, they answered no. Why are we doing this? I don't know. Like, we have better things to do. I wake up in the morning and I just see black. <sighs> Some pretty good stuff. Yeah. Really, uh, really wish there was more, actually. Like, I don't know, 13 or so episodes spanning back to July? Listen, you scoundrels. I don't know if you ripped off my ripoff, but I'll tell you this. I don't know who you think you are. I don't know what you want. If you're looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have more than a dollar. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills that I've acquired over about 14 weeks now. Like how to professionally capture audio, light a set, or produce a video with 11 less people. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Now, if you let go of my already stolen concept, that will be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not tag you on Facebook. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will tag you on Facebook. I will. Expecting a playful back and forth we can hopefully exploit to gain more subscribers. So, ball is in your court, none of this matters news. Let the Toronto Late Night News parody YouTube Video Wars begin. I feel like I've definitely done this before. That's it for your apathetic weekend update. If you made it through this video without an allergic reaction and or might like to sample another one, please like, comment below, maybe on what you think I should spend that dollar on. Uh, share, possibly subscribe, and uh, yeah. I've been your host, guy who writes in all capitals so he doesn't have to memorize two alphabets. Good night. I think the, uh, the none of this none of this matters news was funny. Yeah, I mean, I got I got a pretty sensible chuckle out of that. Uh, and I wake up and all I see is black line. That was pretty. Right. Ah, ah, yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah.